If like me, you too have recently lost a lot of your life savings in the investment of ornamental gourds and weekly Nvidia 350 puts, you might be feeling a little discouraged by your prospects as the next Warren Buffett. However, there is one thing that you have access to today that the investing legends of old never did. The opportunity to invest in the Somalian Pirate Stock Exchange. Now hold on, I know what you're thinking. Is this legal? Does this make money? Will I get arrested? The answer to your questions are no, yes and maybe. Now that we have that out of the way, we can get down to business. As a potential financier of piracy, you'll need to understand a few of the basics of the SPSE and some background knowledge so that when you do finally take that big step, you won't look like an amateur. Starting with, what is the Somali Pirate Stock Exchange? To be succinct, it's an investment method that involves purchasing of small arms and weapons in order to equip Somalian pirates to be able to commandeer trade vessels and cargo with the aim of selling the inventory to generate returns for investors. The Pirate Exchange was created in 2009 by a pirate organisation and now has at least 70 listed organisations just waiting for your investment. Some notable organisations that have excelled recently are Mogadishu Multilateral Limited, Somali Audit Organisation and Banda Bela Reverse Merger Corporation. I'm actually invested in the Banda Bela Reverse Merger Co. As recently, they've had quite a great record of hostile takeovers of other organisations within the exchange. My endorsement of the Banda Bela Reverse Merger Co. should not be taken as financial advice. Although I do have my Chartered Pirate Accountant Qualification Level 2, working towards my Level 3, which allows for actual boarding of the ships during missions and greater revenue splits. If you're still unsure about investing with the SPSE, I'll walk you through a classic investment opportunity from beginning to end. Modern brokers don't currently support the Somalian Pirate Exchange as a valid form of investment for stupid reasons like legality, international courts, and other nerd shit like that. That's where CPAs like me step in and facilitate the investment by connecting you to our patented Pirate Berg terminals that are directly connected to the SPSE where organisations can sell shares of the corporation or sell bonds that finance a single mission. As you can see from some of the charts here, the returns are pretty persuasive. After purchasing a mission bond, you are then sent details of the mission statement and big spenders are even allowed to contribute to mission formation and battle tactics. Just a piece of advice from one investor to another, any attempts to sabotage the mission through the leaking of the mission statement will be seen as an act of war against the SPSE and all 70 organisations are required to kidnap and ransom you as punishment. This has happened before, and I personally have had a hand in a few of the sting operations myself. After the finalisation of the mission statement, the equipment and ammunition are purchased and readied for the team members after they are briefed. On the day of the mission, the members of the team track down and begin their assault on the target, boarding the cargo ship and making sure there are no guards. Once on the ship, they get into the control room and take control of the ship. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the yeah, man, we've all seen the film. I'm the captain. Yeah, try something original for once, eh? With the ship now under pirate control, the rest of the mission is carried out. Whether that's acquiring specific items that were planned for, or taking the entire cargo ship back to one of our famous fence ports, where skilled teams strip and remove all valuables. After the goods are taken, the members are then extracted by speedboat, helicopter or black magic, depending on the scale of the mission. And back at Pirate HQ, the investors are informed about their successful investment. After a successful mission, the loot can be shipped to you directly, although wire deposits can be arranged through one of our bank fraud associates. After the mission's success, the stock price usually surges to accommodate the increase in assets and cash as well as a dividend payment for shareholders to reward their continued loyalty as investors of organisations in the SPSE. I managed to get a special interview with one of the leaders of the mission. This is what you had to say. Hi there, I'm doing a special on the SPSE and was wondering if you had any input on what the SPSE is and why investors should choose to invest in the exchange. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Grunt if you think viewers at home should invest. <laughs> I thought you might say that. <laughs> Any closing remarks? Like and subscribe. What was that? Anyways, there you have it folks.
On top of the great work being done at the SPSE, there is also a sponsor a pirate scheme where scouts for the SPSE go into local cities and villages looking for prime pirate talent and seek to nurture it through investment and funding. So far the scheme has sponsored over 100 pirates who now are working in the top pirate organisations of the SPSE. The SPSE is very conscious of its role as a market leader and maintains an ESG rating of 65.9 which puts it above PepsiCo and just under Chevron, so any institutional investment that requires a high ESG is also welcome. If this type of investment interests you, please get in touch with your local CPA for more information. And remember, any attempts to undermine the SPSE will result in quick retaliation in full effect. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.